Hi, uh, my name is Tom Trento, and uh, today is Monday, August 22nd. Uh, last night, I decided to go to a memorial service for one of the Navy SEAL Team 6 members who was killed two weeks ago in Afghanistan. Uh, the memorial service was about an hour from my house in Florida. It was put on by... Uh, by Aaron Vaughn, the Navy SEAL who was killed, was put on by his family and, and their church, Christ Fellowship. You see, Aaron was a, not only a member of the elite special operators, SEAL Team 6, but Aaron was a seriously dedicated Christian who loved his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and through that relationship felt and developed an amazing patriotism toward the United States to the extent of dedicating his life to fighting Islamic terrorism worldwide. That's who Aaron Vaughn was. And as I sat there with about a thousand other people, listening to the testimony of uh, friends and family and, and other warriors, there were many Navy SEALs there in full uniform and many military personnel and law enforcement and first responders and a Patriot Guard was there and just citizens from all over. Um, and, and the evening was to be a celebration of his life through this church. Uh, but it was very difficult for me as a Christian, and I fully understand the celebratory nature of the life of a Christian, but I also have been working for uh, many years in the national security sector, educating Americans on uh, the Islamic threat to Western civilization, uh, Sharia-compliant Muslims who want to kill Jews and Christians and Westerners. And it was very difficult for me sitting in there um, trying to celebrate the life of an individual who has taken his beliefs to such a degree to put his life on the line every single minute uh, so that uh, people like myself and like all Americans can sleep at peace at night knowing some tough men are uh, taking care of bad people who want to hurt us. Um, and the conflict I had was over my understanding and my work and the work of many people uh, on uh, an analyzing the uh, complete uh, mishandling of the war on terror by the President Obama administration. And many of you know I'm one of the contributing authors to uh, the, the definitive work on uh, Sharia compliant Islam, Sharia, the threat to America, the name of our book. And, and in that, the thesis of the book is simply that uh, the last half of the Bush administration and all of the Obama administration has mishandled an understanding of the Islamic threat that faces Americans, faces Westerners. And if you're incapable of simply naming the enemy, the Obama administration no longer will call Muslim terrorists Muslim terrorists. If you're incapable of naming the enemy on a simple basis as that, then you put at risk to a greater degree individuals, wonderful, brilliant, powerful warriors like Aaron Vaughn, and, and his teammates, and everyone who serves in the United States military. And if you remember two weeks ago, I called for an investigation into the White House for either leaking the fact that SEAL Team 6 was aboard that helicopter that was taken down in Afghanistan, or the fact that the administration should have suppressed that information. And after the immediate days, after the, the, uh, the loss, uh, the horrendous loss of all the Americans in that helicopter, it turns out that the Obama administration has possibly cut a sweetheart deal with Hollywood um, to produce a movie about killing Osama bin Laden and, and, and SEAL Team 6 involved in that, to the extent that Representative Peter King wants to launch an investigation as to what is the relationship between Hollywood and a movie about SEAL Team 6 killing Osama bin Laden coming out just before the election next year. This is horrendous beyond the pale. So a couple of points I'd like to leave Americans with. Number one, uh, take a good look at Aaron Vaughn's life. 
a wonderful family man, a wonderful son, a wonderful father, a wonderful husband, but more importantly from America's perspective, uh, a man committed to God to serve his country to the point where he gave his all so that we can rest peaceably, as I said. And look at, let him be symbolic for the other soldiers that are in theater in the field right now. Here's why. We have 440 days left before November 6th, 2012. And I have committed my life every minute of every day of every week of every month to November 6th to work to educate Americans to defeat President Obama and others who by design refuse to understand the threat of Islamic terrorism before America and before the West. This is not only deleterious to America, it's dangerous and uh, it's critical to understand. And here's my second point. The first is let Aaron Vaughn be a, a symbolic representation of the good men and women fighting for America. And number two, it's essential that we as Americans join together to defeat this administration because the Arab mindset predating Islam understands the world in two dimensions, strong horse, weak horse. It's that simple. And the Arab world now views President Obama as a weak horse. And in any battle, in any scenario, strong horses defeat weak horses. And I'll take it a step further. I will maintain that President Obama is a weak horse when it comes to strengthening America and a strong horse when it comes to weakening America. Think about that. He has turned upside down the paradigm of a chief executive officer as a commander in chief, someone who is to protect the interest of the United States internally and externally as a strong horse. He has become de facto a weak horse from the enemy's threat assessment. But conversely, as it relates to the economic stability and the military vitality of our country, President Obama has become a strong horse, weakening both our military and our economic strength. So that, and this is another video, he could implement his anti-colonial philosophy of downgrading the capability of the United States of America. Please join with me for the sake of Aaron Vaughn, for the sake of all of those in uniform who risk their life every day as we fight this great epic threat before us of Islamic terrorism, join with me to work every minute of every day of every week to November 6, 2012, 440 days from today, to educate Americans to defeat this administration and bring in people at all levels that understand the necessity of emphasizing life over lifestyle to look at the importance of national security as it relates to the continuation of America, of Israel, and Western civilization. Join with me today. Go to the unitedwest.org website, sign up, join with us as we fight this administration for the sake, as I said, of, of Aaron and of all others. These are difficult days, but if we draw down deeply on our God-given abilities and the historic precedent set by many, many individuals for 235 years, we can change the direction of this country. Because as you look around, the bad guys are encircling those who they perceive as weak horses, and America needs to become, and I'll leave this thought with you, America needs to become, maybe brutally so, a strong horse. Otherwise, let's just lift up the white flag and give it over to them. And that ain't happening as long as I'm breathing. Thank you.